All right, this is how to assemble the 3D printed magnetic gear um, and all the hardware you'll need. So here are all the 3D printed parts you're gonna print. Uh, these two parts, the outer ring and the input shaft, are uh, both require a little bit of support material off the build plate, uh, but it's worth it for the convenience. Then uh, in terms of hardware, we've got just some standard 608 2RS uh, bearings. These are skateboard bearings, so they're very, uh, very easy to find. You can get this whole tin on Amazon for like five bucks. Uh, which is awesome. We've got uh, these eight millimeter diameter by three millimeter thick uh, permanent magnets. Also this whole box costs about five bucks on Amazon. And then the only other thing you need are these uh, 832 uh, quarter inch long uh, button cap fasteners. Uh, you just have to make sure they're made of steel. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, these, uh, you get them at a hardware store for a couple cents or if you order a hundred on Amazon, it'll be about five bucks. And that's all. That's all you need to make. Need to make this. It's 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 pretty cool. Um, so first thing you want to do is uh, screw in all of the machine screws. Uh, they're all self-tapping into the holes, and make sure that they are below um, the outer ring uh, for clearance purposes and fully seated. Um, then we're going to take the outer ring. You're going to press fit a bearing into here, and you're gonna press in the permanent magnets around the outer ring, and you're gonna to wanna to alternate polarities. So from the outside, north-south, north-south, all the way around. Same exact thing on the out, uh, output shaft. So you're gonna press fit a bearing in the center and put alternating polarity magnets around the outside. And then you're done. You just Everything should snap together at that point. So you can take the crank and the handle. This will just snap together. You take the input shaft, and push it through the outer ring. Then you're gonna take the output shaft and press that on. And that's it, you're done. I left the front open so you can kind of see what's what's going on as things spin. Um, but to summarize, when you spin this shaft, this uh, middle ring, will, which has the, uh, the screws in it, will spin. And that changes how the magnetic fields interact, which spins the middle one um, with a gear ratio, uh, which is a function of a uh, the number of pull pairs in both the inner and outer ring um, and that interaction. So uh, just to show you a bit more easily, uh, we can put crank on both sides. So if I spin this side, you can see it spins much faster at the gear ratio. And the cool thing, it's completely back drivable. Um, also, it's it's super quiet because all the parts are actually they're only they're not actually touching except for through the bearing, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, and another useful thing about magnetic gearing um, is that instead of uh, instead of uh, you know seizing if it if it gets jammed or something, uh, it will just slip into the next into the next uh, valley. So if this is our input shaft. And this is our output shaft. If we hold it here, we can actually still turn this, and it's fine. It's just kind of chugging along. But as soon as we let this go, it keeps doing it, and we can hold it again. And it, it doesn't really care. It doesn't transfer any of that uh, torque to the input at, once you get above the, the braking torque. And that torque uh, is basically a function of how strong uh, the magnetic field um, It's how strong the interaction is between these internal magnets and the magnetic field uh, coming from the out exterior ring. Um, so that's a little bit limited on this one since we're using such small magnets, um, which could be a, a good thing or a bad thing. Um, these things are generally pretty specialized use. They're not very widespread. Um, usually they pretty much have to be used in very low torque, high speed applications. Um, but they're pretty novel um, and do some uh, quirky things that you might not expect. Um, and they're really fun to play around with. So thanks for watching.